All right, guys, today I'm going to teach you guys how to play Renekton top lane in Season 12. So what you want to run right now is PDA, Triumph. You want to go for Alacrity, take Last End, and then take Bone Plate with Unflinching. And along with this entire setup, we are also going to be running a Dorn's Blade, obviously, because we are currently into the melee matchup. If you find yourself in a harder matchup, like a hard poking range matchup, that's where you want to be going with a Dorn Shield instead. Alright, I'm going to take my Q right here. Um, seems like Aureli has already taken the push level 1. Like, usually what you want to do as Renekton is take that to your advantage and slow push the wave into level 2. But this will do fine. I can easily turn this lane around soon. Like, the wave is in a good spot where I can stack up my bar, so... Once we reach level 2 and 3, we're going to start slow pushing. Okay, sure. I'm going to use that to heal up again. Take my W here. She's going to place a ward down, which is absolutely fine for us. She, It seems like she has already used the pot, which is really good for us. That's going to be in her favor. Okay. She tries to outplay. Well, we got her. Yep. So you can kind of like get the idea about Renekton. There has been a lot of people who have been, you know, not considering, you know, picking Renekton at the moment due to like everything that happened. Um, but if you want like the honest, you know, answer, you know, to a guy that actually knows about champs, Renekton is pretty good right now. You know, perhaps maybe not as a champion to like bl take blindly every game. It's not the most efficient. Wait, what's he doing? He will lose this. Oh, he's dead now. Well, oh, I'm getting creep blocked. Awesome. Alright, sure. The first item will be a Gorge Anchor. But uh, getting back into it, like... If you're looking for a good top laner to counter pick with, then Renekton is actually one of the best champions you can pick. You know, perhaps maybe not as a blind pick. Uh, going for Renekton um, is not that smart. But if you're looking for a champion that can counter champions like, you know, Riffin as an example, or even Aurelia, or like a few other champions which you always struggle with, like Renekton is the perfect champion for that because we have like the perfect kit to win the lane. And the scaling from Renekton is quite decent at most, like, in the mid late game. So, if you pop off in the early game super well, you're becoming, like, a great boss in the game. Salt this one. He's going for it anyways. Not super smart from him. Uh, probably not going to reach him. Got him. Gonna avoid him. The fight's here, though. This is fine. He's gonna fight me anyways. We're gonna be taking the pressure right here. Also, we can kill him right now if he does that again. How about be Nocturne? Ah, okay, seems like he doesn't take the risk anymore. Let's go back to base. Oh, it seems like Nocturne's gonna be freezing the wave down. Yeah, he probably will. That's pretty sad for me. Alright, no problem. It's okay. He's also level 6. He's gonna backport here. Good thing is that we don't have to TP now because the wave is already getting pushed on towards us. So we're gonna be putting that in my advantage. We're just going to walk back to lane here, and we're going to make sure to freeze down the wave over here, so... Eventually, we can stack that up back into Aurelia, and that's where we're going to take her out, so... Watch this. She is still level 4, which is, um... The reason why is because Nocturne has been taking a lot of XP. That's why this guy is, like, so far behind at the moment. I want to go for like for another trade, but this will do fine. I'm assuming that Nocturne's going to be topside, considering he's level 6 already. And he's currently camping topside, so... 
I'm assuming it. I'm gonna place a ward down over here. That's the Nocturne ultimate coming out. Now, the most important thing about Renekton is that you always stack the bar. You always have to get the red bar ready and set, like... That's going to greatly, like, improve the lane. So you don't just want to, like, constantly, like, spam off your abilities on Aurelia, but it's better to just take it slowly, have your abilities up, and then stack it up, and then actually trade Aurelia. It's much, much, much better to do. Um, also, you are more likely to use your Q first than your W most of the time for the healing. But be aware that if you press your Q and you're you're full and you have the full health, um, it's not going to be as efficient. Okay, he's not going for that. We have like two pots. This guy also has two. Okay. Uh, we can probably like dive him under tower if cause six is down here. Wait a second. All right. Well, that will do fine. Let's take a plate now. Nocturne does not have the ultimate yet, so this one's going to be free for me. And we're going to be leafing the wave the way it is. I think that Aurelia is likely to push the wave if you go back now, but let's see how it's going to turn out. Like, what matters the most to me now is that I get my pickaxe. If she starts pushing, I'm going to TP and freeze the wave down there, so... Let's see what her reaction is going to be. Seems like she's going to slow push, uh, just slow push it at most. Cool. So we're going to walk back. Hey, quick mention, Zetrix. Thank you for the resub prime of three months. Thank you so much, man, Zetrix. Hey, welcome back. Thank you for that. So let's freeze down the wave over here. This is what matters the most now. If we have the wave frozen here, we're going to be safe from Nocturne's ultimate. Which is crucial here, because I think he will come back at some point. He's currently in mid. Okay, he's using the ultimate, which is very good to know. Very, very good. Now we're just going to deny this Aurelia. I think that she's probably going to roam down there, I think. I'm assuming. If I see Aurelia roaming down to mid lane even just once, I'm just going to hard push it immediately after. Alright. I'm going to hard push it. Here it comes. We can probably die for under tower. Probably. Wait a second. There we go. That's going to push in. Now we're going to stop her from getting back to lane here. Let's take some autos on this. Aurelia is unable to move back to lane because I can block her from getting back. Okay, she's TPing. That's fine too. She got a record of bow with a lifesteal scepter. Alright, cool. I'm going to hard push this wave and then I'm going to roam down bot lane. I see a really good opportunity here. Watch. Oh, the TP just... I mean, the war just expired. That's pretty sad. I can still kill them. Alright, cool. Let's go back. So this time we're going to go with Gorchinker. And the next item afterwards is going to be a Starex Gauge. So, uh, let's go for Steel Caps here. Let's go for... All right. Quick mentions again. Gulgak, you're back once again, man. Hey, thank you for the resub of six months. That's absolutely pog with you, man. Thank you. Six months, by the way. So you have a new batch now. Aurelia is kind of slow pushing the wave once again. She does have like the five stacks, but I should be able to fight her incredibly easy here. I sh shouldn't be struggling at all. Because we are definitely stronger. We already have the Gorchinkers, so that's a massive difference. 
Nocturne's currently in mid. Very good to know. Oh, I got that off on the... Alright. No problem. We got like two pots as well. I'm going to spam ping cause 6 to be coming topside because we can easily die for like directly on our tower right now. Okay. I got you anyway. Sure. I think that Nocturne could still be here, so I do have to be very careful. Let's see off of this one. And now we take the plate. That's another one. I'm going to make sure to get the final plate as well. Yeah, like I thought. So this is like my um, my escape towards Nocturne. This is how you do it. Apparently there's also Nakali down here. Wow. Apparently they want me pretty badly here. Okay, sure. Whatever. Unbelievable. Ah, oh, I could have lived there. If I popped my Gorchinker Q and then W, I would have actually killed her. Okay. Akali E flash. Or E she flash first and then she press her E. Sure. Alright, so we're gonna be walking back topside this time. I hope that we can get the pressure. I'm kind of worried because Ba Lang lost the tower already, so I'm assuming that the enemy is probably gonna be coming topside now. We'll see how things turn out. We also have Nocturne taking all the camps down here, so we can't anymore. Should be a free kill. He just needs to go for it. Got him. Thank you. That's a thousand gold. Just gonna help him out a little bit. <clears throat> All right, we got like a thousand gold from the Nocturne, and we also killed Akali, which is really good. If we push right now and we maintain the pressure we have, we should have an easy time. Let's get the tower away. Whoops, my bad. That's going to go down. Just going to get the final auto attack off. Okay, this is where things get a little bit more interesting. Because we got like... Uh, we got like 2k at the moment. I think that Nocturne is likely to old mid right now. So I hope that my team is going to just fall back now. Oh, or even die against a Kali. Sure. Got it. Let's take this one. Okay. And before we go back to base, I'm just gonna see if I can get the wolves and maybe this one. Maybe. We have to pay like very close attention to what's gonna happen here because Aurelia can in theory just walk up to us now. Got it. The wave should arrive here. It's good that we got every single camp because it's going to make Nocturne fall behind like quite a bit. He's going to fight for Drake right now. These guys are definitely not ready for this one for sure. Unless the enemy team like messes up pretty badly here. gonna bait me. Nice try. I'm going, yeah, this guy just won't even try. He won't bother. Oh, okay. All of them are very low right now. 
This guy's done. Wait a second. I need my abilities. I wanted to get the kills on them earlier, but I simply couldn't because I had no abilities. And if I walk into them with my auto attacks, like, they will simply kite me down. So I didn't ha really have much of an option there besides just walking back and forth until I get my abilities back. Like, be aware, guys. You never just want to, like, right-click into the enemy team if your abilities are down. If they have all these champs which can kite you. Like, instead, just block the road for them to get back, right? Like, their only way out of that team fight was by walking back to this tower or going back to base somewhere there. And if they went there, they would still die to my team, so... They didn't really head, like, anywhere to go, so just going back and forth was fine enough already. Awesome. We got, like, 3.6k, so this is where things uh, become fun. Let's go for Stark Gauge. The next item we go for is going to be a Death Stance for Nocturne. And uh, the final item after that is going to be a Spirit Passage. So we can heal up. And we go for a Guardian's Angel. Or we can go for Bramble. It's kind of situational. Might actually think about going for Bramble into uh, Thornmill. Go ball lane. Got TP. Wait, what? Okay, let's go. It's gonna be another massive fight here. Got my E in like five seconds. Uh, these guys are dead. Sure. Guess also done. I can heal off of both of them. And we run. I think that we should probably be fine. I think we can probably even kill both of them. I'm gonna bait. I've got my Q for healing and my Gorge Inker, so that's why I was like super confident in jumping into this stuff. My team's pretty comfy about doing this, though. I actually don't recommend them to be there. I would 100% going to get all in on by Aurelia. I don't know, like, what on earth they're thinking about, like, pushing directly into an Aurelia, but... That's a really bad idea. So next objective, we got the um, we got the Baron coming in about 15. I think if my team groups for it, we can probably take it because of cost six damage. You know, at least if they group for it, of course. Okay, team fight's breaking out. There we go. Uh, that guy's gone. Probably not much we can do here. No. Nope. My entire team died. Wow. Unbelievable. That's the, the, the problem. The, the team does not realize that we are facing off two champions or actually rather three champions in the game which can all directly all in. Right? Nocturne has the ultimate. Akali can press E, R and engage with Shroud. And Aurelia can use the entire wave to just dash up. And the team just doesn't realize that. They're just kind of positioning their, themselves in a pretty uh, bad way. And making themselves vulnerable the whole time. If the team just groups up as like four men, the enemy team, like, they can't all in like that. But one of them was like topside, one of them was at Baron. And then like two of them were at mid. Yeah, you're not safe then. Yeah, my team doesn't really have any jumps either. They're pretty immobile, so it's not really working. I think we can probably... Uh... Yeah, we can fight that. I'm just going to go for a colony here. 
She chose to go for me. Okay, that's the ultimate of a Akali. Hmm. You should have just directly walk up to us. Back off. Mm. Okay, not bad. Turned out to be pretty well. So you can kind of like tell the way how Remington works in team fights. Like we simply dish out the damage we can and once something get like a little bit too risky, we just back off. Like the beauty about Renekton's Q is that you can just move and use it at the same time so you can like kind of like back kite back and forth with it. It's always great. Uh, let's go for Spirit of Visage here. The main issue this game is that Akali is like mega, mega fed. You know, Nocturne's going full lethality, but he doesn't really focus us. So, we're going to go for Spirit Visage. So we can also benefit from the heal. Awesome. Let's move ball in after. Got him. Perfect. So we're, we're directly going to go ball lane. We're going to hard push this. We have TP up at the moment, so... Wait a second. She can't beat me. Akali is like so fed right now that she can literally just dash up to me and just beat me. So we got to be very careful here. I'm actually kind of surprised that this Akali is not playing with Magi. Because if she had Magi, it would be even harder. But she didn't go for that stuff. They're hard pushing it. Aureli is coming down bot lane. Um, I can fight that pretty easily, so... Okay. She's changing directions. I'm assuming Aurelia is going to walk over here. But I think that some is nearby. Wait a second. Well, I got him. Thank you. There are several people coming bot lane now. So we're forced to back off here. Nocturne with Jinx are mid. I think Akali is... Currently bot lane here, probably. Let's take the camp here. Yep, a colony's down here. We don't fight that stuff. Assuming that she is currently trying to chase me. Okay, no. You know, with Nocturne, you don't really have vision, so you sometimes you're just gonna have to like walk back. You know. I think... Yeah, Akali's back to mid. Awesome. We are about like three levels ahead of Aurelia. And that's why it's so incredibly easy to fight Aurelia at the moment. I don't really want to fight her now. Because I think there's a fair chance that... Um, like, oh wait, never mind actually. Yeah, that's what I expected. Ah, I couldn't escape that. I thought that like, I, I knew that there was going to be someone down here. I just didn't think it was going to be a Kali to be down here actually. This kind of sucks. Whatever. Like if Aurelia walks up to you... On herself being like three levels behind, you know that someone's gonna be down here. So. Hey, Kawaii coming with a gift. Are oh, you gifting to Pat Mary? Hey, thank you for gifting, Kawaii. Thank you for gifting a sub. Uh, 
Uh, yeah, they're, they're not going for that stuff. We do have TP. We can flank them on the back here. But uh, my mid laner is dead at the moment. So it's hard to do. Wait a second. Lulu and the Kali chilling down here. It's very smart to do. Probably can move up because they are chilling down here. Wait. I'm gonna take care of this Aurelia. Alright. Yeah, like I thought, I just knew that was gonna happen, and that's why I've taken it pretty, you know, chill against them. I knew that, like, the moment I would find Aurelia, that Nocturne was gonna press R and then dash on me. Now the guy gets caught again. Can't change anything here. I love how she's running through, like, an entire tower. Can't fight that stuff. So we as Remington, we've created a massive lead in the game, but unfortunately, like my team is kind of struggling a bit. So my team is just struggling right now. That's pretty much all. It's not necessarily like the team comp. There's definitely like the team comp wise, um, it does make a difference, but. I think if my team played it smarter about six, seven minutes ago um, at mid lane, if they actually knew what they were getting into, it would have been a, a very different game because they, you know, they they died like multiple times to the all in of Nocturne and uh, Akali and Aurelia, you know, obvious reasons. Would have been very different. I even pinged, uh, in, in many cases where I couldn't make the difference, I even pinged the team to like fall back and they, they just completely ignored it. So they got to like face what they got to face their reason man. for staying. Bad fight. Just bad fight. If we're lucky, they might she might pass through here. Okay. She already died apparently. She died at the same time, so that's why I couldn't see it properly. Alright. Aurelia is pushing bot lane, so let's take that real quick and then we buy the spirit passage. She will never win that stuff. Okay, dashing away, no problem. Alright, she ended up dying like by the Janna. Sure. Oh, let's try. There's Lulu on the back here. The, uh, they also have the affair from the zombie, so if we kill them, they just respawn again. <laughs> Pretty sad. Even if we killed that Jinx, we still die to it. Get the Spirit for Zoch. And then for the final item, we're going to go for a Thormill, if we even get that far. To be honest. I don't have a, a, a good feeling about this game. I don't see any light, you know, <laughs> anywhere forward from this because my team is just too far behind at this point. And they're getting wrecked in terms of team comp. My team does not know, like, how to chill in this game. They're just dying on repeat now. So, like, the best call we could make now is just simply me sitting on the ball lane and pushing with my TP. And then having the team push mid lane as 4. Simply get, like, one catch and just push it. Um, but every time my teammates spawn, they're straight up, like, walking into a fight. Doesn't matter who it is. And then they die, like, one by one.
ping wise like they are ignoring every call out there so it's hard to like get this guys going man i think nocturne is gen king about here yep Awesome. So getting something in return. Like Nocturne is obviously going to be standing behind walls all time, all time right now. Just looking to catch everything. Like I said, like the team just walks into a certain lane, they just hard push it, and then they hope it works. I think that these guys are just tilted right now. I don't know why you would ever, like, as an Ephalius, why on earth you'd be top lane at this point. Also, this guy getting caught now. It's over. Oh, yeah, they're chasing me down right now. Yeah, I, I could just feel it in my bones. I, I knew that my teammates were tilted. Like, the moment they just spawn, they would just walk a direction in the hope it's going to work out. Uh, wait a second. Okay. See you later. Yeah, we can't stop that stuff. He's not by the side, but whatever. It's okay. Either way, guys, this is Renekton Topling. Thank you so much for watching today's YouTube vid. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.